from an admissions perspective, you may be very different than who you think you are. And that's why they don't really want to keep it. It's not who you really are, it's who admissions thinks you are. So we really want to keep this sort of like in perspective. We give you the admissions perspective of who you are. We basically will help you do a SWOT analysis on you. It will tell you your strengths are here, your weaknesses are here, and here is really you should be applying here, you should be marketing yourself. Uh, so we do this all with you and we do it with your help. We do a lot of talking and we really get to know you very, very well in a short period of time. Similar as an admissions person would do. They, they want to get to know you very quickly in a very short amount of period of time. The next thing we do is help you develop a, really a comprehensive strategy to help you achieve your app application goals and to really make your application stand out from the masses. We talk about that, we talk about product, really product differentiation. You are the product and differentiate is the only place to do it is in your applications. And we help develop a, a, a strategy to make you stand out. We take your best experiences, your best goals, and really we help you with everything. We help you with the really with the really stand out for the masses of candidates. And there's a general rule that basically only about 10% of all applicants that come uh, applications that come to the door are considered outstanding. Another 10% are considered very good, and around 30% are considered awful. So we want to make sure that sort of like in a strategic point of view that your application stands out. It does it from a strategic point of view within that top 10%. Um, at your applications, we work with all aspects of your application. We work with your essays, your resumes, your recommendations, your interview skills. Uh, really, and all the different components to really make yourself stand out. At every single point of the part of the application, we consider to be, quote, um, uh, I'm losing the word, sorry. Uh, every part of the application that you can control. So where your effort and energy really can control the, the output and the, and, the, and the quality of, 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 the, of what you submit. Um, and the other thing we call it current, it really, as we talked about a little bit earlier, we really stay current on admissions trends. We know that sort of up-to-date information about what's happening in the admissions cycle with admissions committees, what they're looking for. We can tell you what type of business, what business schools are looking for different type of candidates this year, whether you fit the type of candidacy profile or not. So we're really current on our information. And we really tell you it's current because you may be barking up the wrong tree. You may be applying to the types of schools that really don't want your type of candidates. For instance, this year Harvard really kind of has a, uh, a pension for younger type candidates and people over 30 have very limited chances of being accepted. That shouldn't mean you shouldn't apply, but that really goes in with sort of an, in, in with an open mind. Okay. Uh, the next thing is competition. Uh, an increasingly large number of people are using admissions consultants. If you were applying to business school five years ago and used an admissions consultant, I would say you would have a, you get a huge advantage. Now, if you use an admissions consultant because so many people are using them, I think you're, you're, you still have a slight advantage. Uh, but I think on the, on the reverse side, if you don't use an admissions consultant, you're at a huge disadvantage. Um, and the last thing that we do is really sort of we keep sort of like it's a very stressful time. Let's say we talk about the stakes being very very high. We really keep your sanity and stress really to a minimum. We keep you focused. Uh, we try to keep stress to a minimum. We try to keep you we try to keep you sane. A lot of people have really panic attacks and they have all types of problems. We really keep you focused. And uh, <coughs> I tell people your best friend, your worst enemy, and your sort of biggest advocate all rolled into one. And, and you will learn that very quickly if you work as an admissions consultant. We want you to get into business school. So if you're, we're helping you. We like it when you when you succeed. Uh, but you also realize in order to succeed, you have to do one well of your applications. And the best way to do that is really keep you sane and really keep the stress down to a minimum. So. And we also want you to know at the end of the day that when you're handing in your application, you're handing in the best, out, the best, best piece of work that, work that you could possibly do. And that's of critical importance. It's really important when you're handing in the work, you're saying you have no second thoughts about, oh, I could have done better, or I could have invested more time with this, or I should have gotten more feedback, or, um, or any other regret that you might have. So we keep you, once again, we keep you really keep those, those types of things which generally result in lost time and lost energy. Uh, down to a minimum. We keep you really focused on the end goal here, which is getting into graduate business schools.